born in Egypt. I was born in Egypt of an Italian mother and an Austro-Hungarian father. There was this lady in Cairo of Italian culture called Teresa de Rogatis, and I was her pupil. She started me at the age, I think, of seven, and was quite a relentless teacher. In fact, I would say even ruthless. She taught me discipline. She taught me to continue to be obstinate, try and conquer the difficulties. She taught me many things. I was not dedicated. I was perhaps the laziest of all her pupils. I really was unwilling to study octaves. And uh, so she uh, said, okay, I'm going to write for you an octave etude. Will you play it? And I got immediately interested, somebody writing for me, you know, composing something for me. I said, yes. And she said, if you play this octave etude, I promise you one thing, you will never have to practice octaves for the rest of your life. And believe me, she kept her promise because it's not such an easy octave etude to play. So when she saw the success that this octave etude and the fact that I was playing it with such enthusiasm, she called it a punitive expedition. She was quite a great teacher and a great person. tell you that she was my mother. The premiere of the Barber of Seville of Rossini was a disaster. You know why? How it began? No. Uh, at the most dramatic moment or whatever that the singer had to sing, florid singing, a cat just crossed the stage <laughs> quietly from the beginning to the end to the amazement of the singers and the public just went mad. <laughs> and that was the There are many advantages to living in Los Angeles. First of all, the climate is very beautiful. It reminds me that of Egypt. And second, as a composer, the cinema industry here opens the door to composing film scores and really uh, gaining a great deal of experience in that domain. Every composer, when he composes, when he writes, he has something coming from the deepest of the soul. There is a way to present that in such a way that the listener will get exactly what the composer intended. The job of the performer is to find that and not just look at the notes and just play the notes. As a pianist, I researched piano technique. My research was to find the real affect, this is the term, that was used in the 18th century. What is it really that we want to uh, share with the public or communicate to the public? Actually, as an artist, I'm a communicator.
As an artist, I'm a communicator. This is really my goal.